Hi everyone, this is Lynn Wilson at Lynn Wilson Originals. I thought I'd come on today and talk about some mid-century modern furniture. And when I think of mid-century, I tend to think of more masculine designs because of the straight lines. And I also think of geometric patterns. It's just what comes to my mind. One of the shapes that you see a lot is this elongated diamond. I took my measurements here. Um, and this was 15 inches. So I knew I could do uh, three triangles, five inches across, and then I knew I wanted them to run the full length here. So in order to cut my, my diamond out, I folded my paper, and because I wanted them five inches across, I measured two and a half inches here, then measured 10 inches here because this is 20 inches and then just cut a straight line across. So that gave me my diamond shape, which was going to be able to help me think about placement. Now I also knew that I didn't want just one, two, three. I wanted two in the middle because it had to be difficult, of course, um, in the middle. And then I wanted a half and a half just so it wasn't as predictable. So what I did first, um, I found my center point. I would be sure that I was lining up my diamond on the straight line. Then I also knew that it was gonna be five inches here, and then I would have five inches here. So I made my marks at five inches, five inches, five inches, five inches, five inches, five inches, and then connected my lines. Now doing this, um, to get the straight lines, I drew them in pencil first, and then I'm taking frog tape, which I like because it doesn't seem to stick as much. And I'm aligning it with the lines that I drew. And my plan here, you can see this drawer is in navy. My plan is to do light gray, navy, light gray, navy. Um, this almost looks white, but it is actually driftwood. So it is the gray that has light brown undertone as well. And this navy is in the navy. So I'm just going to mist my brush. This is the Dixie Bell Flat Medium, which is really one of my favorite brushes. It's great for blending. And then I'm going to paint over the tape in the direction away from the tape. So this is a little bit of a process because I have to let everything dry before I pick up the tape. Like here, I'm gonna do a blue triangle, but my tape is in the way. So what I've discovered in doing Harlequin is that sometimes it's better to just let it dry, lift it up, and then do your tape a second time. We go over here to the other side. Again, what I did was I measured across for 20 inches, found the 10 inch mark, and just made little hashtags going up so I could draw in my straight line. And then I measured, I put down one of my little templates. This is just one of those diamonds cut in half put my template down to mark the first two and a half inches. And then from there, I marked my point and then drew to the edge. Marked my point, drew to the edge. Then I knew I wanted five inches up and to double check, I put my template down. 
made my mark and I was on the straight line and double checked on each side that I had five inches. And just went up doing the same thing all the way until I got to the middle piece. This is the Dixie Bell Mini, the angled mini, and it's still a little bit damp because I used it earlier. And you should always shake or stir your paint. I'll probably put an edited version of this on my YouTube. I'd love for you to subscribe. It's Lynn Wilson Originals. Um, anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and um, if you have any comments, please share, and I'd uh, love to help in any way I can. You can message me at lynn at lynnwilsonoriginals.com. Thank you. Have a great afternoon.